Peace, 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 y'all. Chocolate Ram, Amon Raj, out. And got finished dropping my wife off. I'm going to tell y'all, give y'all a little heads up on dealing with one woman. Dealing with one woman is like dealing with a thousand. Now, when I say that, I know most of y'all are like, what kind of bull crap you talking about? Literally. It's like dealing with a thousand. When you deal with a woman, you're going to deal with many different emotions. But you got to understand something about these emotions. These emotions are emotions that was created through time. I also want you to know that some of you know that some women they could be cold-hearted. Listen to what I'm saying now. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen now, listen. Some women don't know how to hold you. Some women don't know how to make you feel wanted. Nah. You think so, but they don't. What makes you think a woman's supposed to be tenderizing? She's supposed to be tender. Because you want her to be. What makes you think that? What makes you think she's supposed to be that way? Because you want her to be that way? You want her to be soft? <laughs> huh? What makes you think that? You think that that's the way she's supposed to be? Yeah, you do. You think that that woman's supposed to be loving, kinding, 24-7. Remember I told you, one woman is like a thousand women. Now, to understand that concept is dealing with all these different emotions. You cannot love no woman who don't know who she is. How can you love someone when someone did not love her the way she's supposed to be treated? You wasn't honest with her like you were supposed to be. Come on now. Who are we fooling? There's a lot of women that damaged here in the mind. We don't want to discuss it because we want to point the finger at one another. Men, you done a lot of dirty deed because you wasn't honest. You wasn't honest with that woman. You didn't keep it real with that woman. You didn't. You should have told her the truth when you wanted to leave her. You should have told her the truth when you wanted to have extra marriage affairs. You should have told her the truth. Huh? You should have told her the truth. Who told you to go out to have babies by somebody else? Who told you to sit there and beat on this woman? Who told you to do this? Who told you you was in charge? 
Who told you? You're not in charge. That's because she lets you be like that. Because the minute the goddess don't want you to be in charge, you ain't got no power. You ain't got no power. You want to know the truth? You can't handle the truth. You cannot handle the truth. You want to make it real? You cannot handle the truth. Let's keep it get, let's keep it real. That's the truth. You don't want to tell the truth because you, so many of you men, you done this to them. You corrupted them. And then you expect them to be nice. You expect them to be humble, docile. You expect them to be this way. Well, they, they ain't gonna be like that. And when it come to sex, that woman wanna come just like you. She don't wanna lay on her back and you just sit there humping on her. And she, she wanna feel good and sexy. Huh? She wanna feel empowered, controlled, why she having sex with you? Huh? You not think about nothing like that. You wouldn't think about what's gonna come out like that. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't think it like that. You gotta take some of the blame. You gotta take some of this hit. What you've done. You know what you did. But women, you got to take some of this fault too. Because you chose that motherfucker. You chose him. Talking about, I want a bad boy. I'm looking for a bad boy. You ain't looking for no fucking bad boy. You looking for a father syndrome. You looking for a father that's, to put you in your motherfucking place. Oh, that was too harsh. Listen to a lot of these women, they'll tell you. Oh, I'm looking for a bad boy, because I need to be excited. I need to be excited. That's what I'm looking for. I, I want somebody to excite me. Oh, I'm going to fall in love with that bad boy. Oh, he's crazy and deranged. Are you serious? Huh? When we gonna tell the truth? When we gonna be honest about that? Huh? Everybody wanna say, oh no, let's don't talk about these things. Oh, let's keep it on the love, peace, unity. But then when somebody screw up, and when somebody sit up there and do something wrong, then you wanna blast their ass. Huh? When you could have avoid that from the beginning. You could avoid that from the beginning. You see, on my page, I'm not going to be sitting up there constantly talking about ancient fucking times. It's good to have it in your knowledge. You can use it as a principle for today in modern time. But let's keep it real. We here in modern times. When you go back in ancient times, you had responsibility, and if you can uphold your responsibility, they knew how to take care of your bullshit. Not like how everybody wants to be freedom and do what you want, BFFs, have friends, you had friends of opposite sex, and then you want to sleep with these mother these people. Huh? And then talking about you just we just friends. Huh? You you want to sleep with, everybody wants to sleep with everybody, but nobody want to tell the truth. You know what I mean? You want to sleep with this person over here, but you don't want to tell the truth. 
Some of y'all lost in the motherfucker. And I know it. I know, listen here. The reason why on my page I talk about these things because these are the things that happen on a daily basis. They happen on a daily basis. A lot of women want good men, but you don't, you don't know how to deal with that. A lot of men want good women, but guess what? Them good women is 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 has been destroyed. You ripped their heart out. You you did it. Those who know who I'm talking to, you did that to them. Some women you ain't had to do that. They didn't learn how to love their fathers or their mothers. They didn't give them this inspiration love when they was coming up. So they learn a selfish attitude. Yo. I'm going to tell you something. You don't need no goddamn degree to, to see this shit. You don't need to be talking no high intelligent conversation to realize what, what what's going on. You know, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. We could talk about, you know, people be talking at fourth grade level and all that bullshit, all that bull crap. That's some high educated people who wants to sit there and want to feel like they want to upgrade themselves in a manner of they believe they smarter than everybody else. That's a bunch of bull crap. I'm going to keep it real. You want to sit there and tell me. You want to sit there and tell me. That. So you want to sit there and tell me. That. You are. You are. You so highly educated. That your way is the master plan. That's what trips me out with a lot of you. Literally. That's what trips me out. A lot of you can't even hold a woman. You can't even love her the way you're supposed to. That woman is a thousand women. Understand the conception. My woman is a special kind of woman. At times she's mean as a motherfucking rattlesnake. She ain't gonna tell me. Because when she has to do what she needs to do, she gonna do what she gotta do. And I ain't trading my wife for nobody. Because you don't know me at all. You don't know me. And first of all, you wouldn't even try to get to understand me. The first thing you would do is try to judge me and use that as a catapult. That's what y'all do. That's what a lot of melanated women do. You, you try to figure out the guy, what he likes, what he don't like. But remember, the f first impression is, is not always impression. That's what you're going to get. A lot of people think that, oh, first impression. Really? You think so? Your first impression is to be an illusion. It's an illusion that w what people put up, up front, so you can't see who they really are until they believe in their mind. They got you where they want you. He don't know me, but he said he loved me. Now he's got to accept me. Accept my faults. Accept the things that I do. That's what a lot of y'all, yeah, do that. You get into these relationships and you don't, you don't tell the truth. And you know what really trips me out though? How a lot of people seem to always want to go back to their ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. Why would you go back to your ex-boyfriends or girlfriends? I, I, I don't understand that. Why do y'all do that? Why do you go back to your ex-boyfriends, your ex-girlfriends? What they supposed to do? Give you a fucking miracle pill? Huh? Is that what they supposed to do? Give you a miracle pill and all of a sudden y'all gonna straighten this shit out? Huh? That's a cop out for you weak motherfuckers. You weak motherfuckers. You cop out by sitting up there talking about I'm gonna get with my ex. You gonna get with your ex for what? He or she ain't gonna change. I'll tell you in your motherfucking face. 
You're not changing for whom? Who are you changing for? A woman is a thousand women. Do you understand that? That one woman can take you for a ride. That woman can make you a king. Or she can make you a bum. Or she could destroy you. If you don't think so, history tells you the truth. History. Do your research. I ain't got to talk like I'm so, um, a psychopedia to satisfy you. I ain't got to talk and use giant words. And when I do that, you're going to have to go to the dictionary anyway. Huh? Because I know I'm not going to be able to reach everybody. I know that most of you, you don't want to hear the truth. In the first place, if you only was to listen to your teacher when you were in school and you was barely making your classes, how the fuck you think you're going to listen to me? Huh? Let's be real. If you didn't listen to your father, if you had a father figure, your grandfather, your uncle, any male figures in your, in your life and you weren't really listening to them, you heard but you weren't listening. Huh? Who are you fooling? Let's keep it real. Let's keep it gangster. Huh? So that's my point. A woman could be a thousand women. And if you want another woman, you ask your woman. Ask her. Ask your woman and see what she let you do with. Now, some of you gonna fuck that other woman if she tell you to, cause you, you motherfuckers really don't love your woman. And if she gives you that, that price tag, and this is one for the record, if your woman says, "Listen, I want to have sex with this guy at the job," <laughs> are you gonna get her? Let her do it? You weak motherfuckers! You want to talk like that, but you really don't want to. You want to talk on the outside. Let me put it that way. You want to talk on the outside, but you really don't want to. Really confess. You don't want to confess, you, you can't handle that shit. You want to go fuck everybody else. But, um, you, you don't want nobody to fuck your woman. That should have blow your mind. You ain't going to be able to handle that shit. But this is Chocolate Almond Raw. And one of my specials. I want to say thank you. For those who watch. You know what I mean? I try to keep it as simple as possible. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'll go intellectual if I if I need to but to me it's unnecessary you need to do all that because you ain't gonna be able to satisfy everybody peace Africa